morning, Jamie here from Poodle Press. I hope you're very well. Today I'm gonna to give you a quick run through of what's coming in WordPress 5.8. It's a really exciting uh, release. There's lots of really cool stuff coming. Specifically, the most exciting bits are full site editing and I think probably the query loop block. There's seven things in total that I'm gonna show you, but those are probably the two of the most exciting things. There is a slight health warning with this because these are new and exciting. My view is they're not quite production ready. So you're probably not gonna be using them on your real sites because we're still waiting for themes to add support for them properly. But it's definitely worth understanding what they do so you can start to prepare and start to understand just how profound a change this is, this is coming to WordPress. So here we go, here's seven new things coming in WordPress 5.8. So with 5.8, you're going to use you're going to be able to use Gutenberg to build your entire website with blocks. Up to now, we've just used Gutenberg for posts and page content. But the profound change is once you start to be able to build your site with blocks, the header, the menus, the footer, the sidebar, everything becomes blockified, and then the whole concept of what themes are changes because basically all the heavy lifting is being done by Gutenberg. So it's a really really profound change. We're going to see a glimpse of it in 5.8. It's only going to get better. You're gonna need a few things to actually test this out. You're gonna need <coughs> the beta tester plugin, which I'll put a link to in the description. This allows you to test the beta tester plugin. Sorry, the, the, the uh, WordPress beta version. Uh, don't do this on production websites. This is just for development websites. You're also gonna need a theme that supports full site editing. Uh, and I put, I'll put a link, there's a few out there and the list will grow and grow and grow. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if you do want to test this out on your um, development sites, if you have those, uh, you're going to need those two things. And th let me give you a quick glimpse of how some of the power behind full site editing. So I'm create, creating this page, which um, let's imagine this is a sales landing page. And this is what normally um, the pages look like on this using this theme. Uh, and it's just a you know standard WordPress page. But the beauty about full site editing is you'll be able to basically change the template for that page, create a new template and use that on that page, and then use that template on different pages. So if we look over here on the right, we've got this new section that um, uh, I can either edit the existing page template or I can create a new one. So I'm actually gonna create a new one and I'm gonna call it sales page template. And once I click right here, that's gonna launch me into the full site editor. And this lets me edit the template essentially. So there's, there's pretty much no limitations uh, on what you can do to this page now because you can basically design it using blocks. So they've got this nice little get started thing here, but you'll see everything on this page now has been blockified. So there's my site title, there's my uh, tagline, there's a little separator. Everything on here is just made up of blocks. So let's say I wanted to get rid of my menus and the header along here. I can actually just select uh, the header section, delete it, and boom, it's gone. And then let's say I wanted to add a nice um, hero section at the top here, uh, which again can be templated, because this will remember that we're not just editing this page, we're creating a template that can be used on multiple pages. And then you can do all, um, all your normal Gutenbergy stuff here. So you've got complete control over all the elements within this page. Um, again, we can use our lovely things here to delete stuff if we want to get more precise. So I'm just gonna update this and then it's gonna say over on the right, do I wanna update this page and also the page template. And now hopefully when we go and view this page here, you can see that, that's cool, right? So we've got rid of the, the header, we've put our new banner up there and now that template is available for any other pages that I, that I create. So if I go add new page and let's call this new sale now on and I can put you know I can use blocks to create this page again now at the moment when I publish that let's just publish this so you can see I'm not cheating you see how it's that's the normal page layout but we'll see over here on the right hat here I've got this new um, template called sales page template and if I update that that's now going to inherit the styles of that sales page template that I created so it's quite, it's really really powerful this is just a glimpse of what's what's possible as well. You've got to kind of open your mind and think, wow, I can edit everything on my site now using blocks. Everything, everything, everything. The header, the footer, the sidebars, the page, the post content. It's, it's a really profound change. So there we go. That's how you create uh, like a sales page. But you can do this with other kind of pages as well. 
which leads us neatly on to the next uh, big update in coming, coming in 5.8, which is the new query, query loop block. Okay, here's a quick look at the query loop block. This is really cool. Think of it a bit like a supercharged latest post block, but you can also bring in uh, custom post types. So it could potentially WooCommerce products in the future. Uh, you can bring in po pages or posts. I'm gonna use it today to show you how it works. I'm gonna do more in-depth tutorials on it in other videos, but here's a quick look at some of the cool things that you can do with it. This is only gonna get more and more power powerful as well. So there it is, I'm gonna add it into my page. When you first add it into your page, it's gonna basically go and look for your posts and bring those in. So here we go. This is just one of my posts. And then you, you've got some options here. Um, you've got different styles that you can bring in here. Um, you can also choose these different layouts as well. These are actually block patterns, which is kind of cool. So let's say I just want this, this option here uh, with a featured image, the, the title above it, but I can edit this after I put this in as well because all these uh, loops are created or presented by blocks. So I'm just gonna bring that in. Now by default, you might need to check on how many posts it's actually bringing into the page. So you see this little icon just up here that will actually uh, I've seen this change a bit depending on how I'm, how I'm creating the demos. You can actually just increase that. Um, offsets, great if you want to have like a big featured post first and then under that another query loop where you're not showing the first post of the first query loop. I'll do that so you can see how that works. I'm going to set that at one and that means it won't bring in the first blog, <coughs> the first blog post. Okay, so that's, gonna, that's bringing in my posts into that layout, which is kind of cool. Um, actually, it's very cool. <laughs> Uh, but what I want to do is start to play around with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually select the query loop by clicking on the, the list view here, the new improved list view, and just select the top level query loop. And now I can select this grid view. I'm a big fan of grids. And that's going to bring in your posts by a grid now. Now over on the right here, you'll see you've got some options. This is where you can do other things like you can um, decide what post type come in here. I need to test this with WooCommerce to see how this plays with WooCommerce. Um, you can also change the number of columns here. So let's drag that down to two. Uh, you can also filter by category. So you can have different sections within this news page. You might have a, you know, <coughs> a sports section, education section, um, whatever you like, or by tags or by author or by keyword. I'm not quite sure how the keyword bit works, but it gets cooler yet because we can actually start to play around with this loop in terms of how it's displayed. Because if I click into each of these, I can actually edit them. So let's say I wanted this headline to be a bit bigger. Well, that's not a problem at all. I can just bump up the size here. Let's go huge. Okay, that's crazy. <laughs> but you get the idea. So you've got complete control over the individual elements within the, within the loop that you are building because we're using Gutenberg. If I want to um, get rid of this date here or move it, I can just move it at the top and that moves it for every single uh, block that I'm using here. Okay. Um, you can also add other blocks in here. And if you go to the, the block library and scroll down here, you'll see some of the blocks that you can actually start to use within this. So you've got post date, post excerpt, post title, post content, post author. Um, that's probably post comments, comments count. Um, what else have we got here that you might want to use? Yeah, next post and previous post you probably wouldn't use here, uh, but you might use at the bottom. So you can see how you can uh, construct these. If I want this excerpt to be smaller, I can increase the size, decrease the size. If you want to remove the date, let's just remove the date, and that removes it for all the um, for all the posts that are going to be displayed on that page. And there we go. There's my new blog page which bring in those posts which I have customized myself. So hopefully that gives you a glimpse of what's coming or what's here already with the query loop but how powerful this is going to be because the design options are only going to grow so the layout options will definitely grow. It's a li little bit limited at the moment in terms of the layouts I can do but in the future you're going to be able to present this in probably any way you like. The types of content that you can bring into this is going to increase as well. So it's 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 a really powerful block. It's a quick look. I will go into more detail in future tutorials, but that's the query loop block.
The next um, few improvements in WordPress 5.8 are kind of smaller, but really important, I think. So the first one is this list view. So if you want to see when you're working in the block editor, uh, normally it's fine, but sometimes it can get a little bit confusing, especially when you're working with blocks that are nested within other, within other blocks. The columns block is a great example of this, where you've got um, multiple blocks within the columns. It's sometimes quite hard to work out actually what you're editing. There's a few ways to do this. You can either use the breadcrumbs down here because they can they can basically you can travel back up the hierarchy to find the thing you want to edit. So let's say I wanted to add a background color behind this whole section here. These these are what this is these are columns. It's quite hard to do that because you have to try and sort of navigate around here to click on the right sort of top level to find the thing you want to edit, which is the columns the top level columns block. The list view makes this really easy. So it's these three icons up here. And this shows you the kind of hierarchy of your blocks. Now, this, this existed before WordPress 5.8, but it just opened up in its own modal and it closed down, whereas now it opens up in its own panel and it stays there for as long as you want, which is so much easier to navigate. Uh, so let's say I want to add a background color behind these. I can just select the top level here. It's, it, it'll put that nice blue border around it. It'll also highlight, can you see how it's put this blue background behind here? And then if I want to change the background color and the text color, it's super easy because I know that I'm editing at the right level. Likewise, if I want to add it, edit just one column, um, I can do the same thing. I can just um, see I'm changing the text color within in that column or I could add a background uh, color and change the, that as well. You can also change um, padding on individual columns now, which is really cool. So that's the list view block. Uh, one huge uh, request here would be, and I've seen this in another plugin where you can actually drag these these are draggable up and down, so you can actually start to move your blocks using the list view. That'd be amazingly cool. So hopefully that will come in a future uh, version, but still what we've got at the moment is a big improvement. So widgets have been blockified, possibly, depending on your theme somewhat, but if your theme supports it, they have been blockified. You'll get the choice whether you want to use class classic widgets or the new block editor interface. The big advantage of your widgets being blockified is the range of blocks that you can add into your widget areas. Now you see on this screen I've added some social icons just here, just using the social icons block. Now normally if you wanted to add social icons to your footer you'd probably have to add a plugin but now you can use blocks. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to use it in the customizer here. You can also use it in the normal widget screen as well and it's a slightly, um, well I say that but it's, a, it's the blockified interface of it. But here's basically my footer elements here and we're just using blocks so if i want to uh, remove the meta information down here which of course i want to i can just remove it here's my social icons and that's just a block that i added using the social icons block which is just a block if i want to add an image block in here i've got full access to add any block i like within here so again it's a pretty profound um you know change that you can make and, and what's really nice about this over and above is you get these live, live previews. Okay, so if I just make a little change here to my image, see how it's immediately, I get a preview over here. So it's super, super cool. Uh, so that's a, a glimpse of the new widgetized, blockified, widgetized, uh, blockified, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's gibberish. Last two things that I want to show you um, relate to images. Uh, the first is the ability to add duotones to your images. This is a filter that's now built into Gutenberg and I've added an image block in here and we'll see this new icon up here, this little one here, that lets me add a duotone filter and you can see the images changes. So honestly I'm not sure I'm actually going to use this one on my own site. I can't really see uh, why I'd want to use this, but I guess this is useful if you've got like a, um, a color scheme to your site, site and you want to adhere to it. You can add your own uh, colors in here with this little color picker. So if you do have brand colors, you can put your own brand colors in there. And then I guess you could apply that filter uh, to all your images if that's something you wanted to do. It's kind of interesting. It's a bit of a nice to have for me. It, it kind of feels like it should be a plugin in many ways rather than built into core. Uh, but the more interesting thing really is the, the ability now WordPress supports WebP images, image format. And that's a web, uh, format specially built for web. And your image sizes, if you create them in that format, will be about roughly 25% smaller than your normal sort of JPEGs or PNGs. 
So that for me is a is a more exciting thing that WordPress now supports WebP. Uh, so there we go. That's what's coming in WordPress 5.8. There's some really exciting stuff. If you enjoyed the video, I'd be great if you can give it a thumbs up because it just helps spread the word about the tutorials that I'm doing around Gutenberg at the moment. And if you and if you want to see more Gutenberg tutorials, hit the subscribe button because I'm doing about two a week at the moment. Uh, so thank you so much for watching and I shall see you soon.